they're with me in public. They say, you are a coward for leaving your wife and running away like a coward. They will whip me. You know what I'll say? You know what I'll say to them? Sister. I won't cook for you. I won't practice deen with you. The, the Islamic community will violate against the woman. It's the same thing. No, no. What I'm saying is this. The point is this. The same thing would happen. Yeah? But you are, you, I just cannot believe the way you undermine a man's sexual urges. Just because, you know what it is? You know, you know what it is? It's like me saying, it's like me saying this. Sisters, why are you guys talking about your pregnancy? I need to just push it out, khalas. Yeah, I need to push it out, yeah, you're making such a big deal. Wallahi al the feminist community will come here and stone me next week. If I belittled, you know why? I don't know how it's to be pregnant. I don't know what it takes. Why do women come and say, like, they come and tell us how bad it is. It's as good as having 30 or 40 of your bones um, broken or something like that. Imagine me belittling that. You are belittling a man's sexual urge by saying, but what's the big deal? Come on. I just using a woman. Who should I use, sister? Go and sleep with uh, uh, Billah to other women. You know, a wife La ilaha illallah. Wallahi, my temperature is hot. My temperature, I need to take my jacket off. Do you know that? Wallahi, I'm hot. My temperature, so my blood sugar levels have uh, gone up. I've got blood pressure, bro. The overdependence of women, of men, on women in, in, in sister, some parts of the But that's land. how we're created. I'm just going against this land. Why are you blaming me? I wasn't born with the sexual. I didn't say, hey, let me be. Huh? My dear sister. <laughs> It's better now if we stop it now. More, okay, no, 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 she accepted, no, no, she, no, she said, accepted. She said, no, she said, she said she accepts it, yeah? But okay. That, Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you, sister, look, Wallahi. How old are you, how old are you, sister? 17. You're still young. Mashallah. Are you, are you a Reva or are you born Muslim? Don't take it as a negative. Pardon? Are you born Muslim or Reva? I'm born Muslim. Alhamdulillah, look, sister, let me tell you something, yeah? The reason I'm saying this, yeah, and sometimes I'm a little bit harsh, you know why, sister? Because at the end of the day, I want the best for you. If this was my own sister, if this was my own sister, yeah? Filipino Brother, one second. Filipino Algeria. Filipino Algeria. Filipino Algeria. Ignore him. Algeria. Ignore him. Sister, if you was my own sister, I would do the same. You know why? Because I want the best for you. If, because what, our conversation is not just here 30 people. Millions are going to watch this. And imagine a sister at home who's watching this and going, well, hold on a second. I need to make these points so the sister at home or the brother, number one, the brother knows his duties that he's a maintainer and protector. He should never run away when his wife's in danger. Yeah? It's the same way we're saying we just want consistency. If I'm willing to put my life on the line and die for you, my wife, when I come home and I want intimacy, man, I want a mere intimacy, bro. I'm dying at one. I'm going to, can you imagine me? I'm dying at one. The other one is, oh, I choose, I just don't want to give you it. One is an option, the other one is, I have no choice but to put my life on the line and I might die. I'm willing to die for you and you're not willing to give me intimacy. La ilaha illallah. How, what, what kind of oppression is that? Between this, the, different, the main key, the key difference is life and the loss of life and your nature. Which one's worse? Dying or, or not dying? Are you afraid of death? Yes, I'm very afraid of death. Why? She's very afraid. Why? Well, we are. There's a hadith of the Prophet from Aisha to Anha. She, she even said, I'm afraid of death as well. But that doesn't mean you, you don't uh, want to meet Allah. We're all deaf, because I don't know what death entails. Inshallah, I'll go Jannah, I'm scared. You know, may Allah accept him. What if he doesn't accept my deeds? What if I'm a sinner? Of course I'm going to be scared. I mean, you're talking to someone who's not scared of death. Alhamdulillah, may, inshallah, may Allah death, increase death, my iman death. like yours. This is why, like, maybe I'm, perhaps I'm having a difficulty. There's a mental block between your example of dying and protecting. No, 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 okay, you're saying, please, one second. Just to check this out, yeah? If I, if, if a man dies for his wife, in about a couple of months or years, she's going to move on with another man. No, 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 one second. The point is, in one scenario, the man dies. Janaza, you know, Janaza Salah is finished, yeah, and I do Janaza, make dua for him. In the other scenario, the woman is just choosing not to give intimacy for what reason? A valid reason is understandable. I'm on my menses, I'm heavily pregnant, I've got backache, I'm not feeling well, I've been looking after the kids. Understandable. Which animal will go and say, no, you have to? No. What I'm seeing is this is an unreasonable woman. And guess what? Do you know what this hadith shows? It shows that the woman is the transgressor and using sex uh, to blackmail the uh, husband. That's what she's doing. So I don't know how, how the hadith is made to seem as if the man is wrong. This is showing how a woman is transgressing. I'm not saying man is wrong. I didn't say that. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying, saying this is showing that the woman is the one who's saying no for no reason. I, and it, I thought we moved on from the point that we're both victimizing each other. I thought we made it clear. No, no, that we're not, we're not. we made it clear that what the hadith said, we accept it. And you accept it as well. I've always accepted the hadith. I was just arguing about the nuances of the hadith. No, no, why would you argue with you sister? You can argue something you don't believe in. Do you believe That's in it? I mean. do, you, do you believe in it? Yeah. 
Muslim. I could believe in it, but it doesn't mean no, I... No, no, I could believe in it, sister. It's a hadith. It's like, it's the message of Allah. The you believe in the hadith. You believe that angels will cast you if you say no. And the man sleeps angry because you don't want to, they don't yeah. want to have sex with him. You could believe that, yes. No, 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 you could believe that. Do you believe that? Why does my belief have to? Okay. Yeah, fine, let's say yes. Let's say yes. No, 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 don't say yes, sister. That's between you and the Lord. I've done my bit. I've tried to make you understand. If you want to carry on and reject a hadith of the Prophet because for some arguing. reason, because a woman, a woman is violating her husband by not giving intimacy. And by the way, the hadith doesn't say, oh man, go and force yourself. He says, no, go to sleep, angry. Okay, can you imagine this? Well, I don't want to say anything else. I would say, forgive me again, once again. Well, it's because I care about you. It's my own sister. Sister, sisters, sister, sister. Just, just, just leave it, please. Just act like somebody's farted. Just like do this. The wind goes away, please. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying is this, yeah. The moment, the reason why there's these gender wars happening is because men are not men anymore and women are not women anymore. Okay, the, the roles have reversed. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to tell the Ummah, you know how many divorce rates happen amongst Muslim uh, couples? They, they're going same as non-Muslims. Why, why? why is that? Because men are not men, women are not women anymore. Is it, is, that, is it because men are not men and women are not yes. women? Or is it because some men and some women are using their femininity or their masculinity in the name of Islam to take advantage of each other. Which one is it? Which okay, one is well, it? Well, well, that, that can be the case as well. Like, for example, a woman can take the, her advantage of her femininity by blackmailing the husband. How? By the hadith that we gave. If the husband says, come, I want to have intimacy with you, and she says no, she's blackmailing him with her femininity. Do you accept that? Yeah. Good. And now a man with his masculinity will come and say, no, the Quran and Sunnah said you have to stay at home, shut up, boom. Or whatever it may be, yeah? There's understanding to that, yeah? Do you not think that that is majority, that is the biggest reason why the divorce has happened? No, I'm just saying that could be one part. That I could, I'm saying that could be one point of it. That but can. You, but you said that most of it is because women aren't acting like women and men aren't acting like men. No, no I know because why? Because women want to be boss babes, and men want to be simps. Men are happy. Yeah, you go work. I'll stay at home. That needs to change. But do you not see that now in today's society, men are becoming more, more like women, feminine. Uh, no, not feminine. They're becoming more, let's say, extreme in their beliefs. What, what kind of beliefs? Leadership, being masculine. How, how, could, you, how could you be extreme? Women. Are you talking about toxic masculinity? Yes, yeah, toxic masculinity. No such thing exists. What about toxic femininity? Look one second. Okay, let's, talk, let's talk about the past. No, no, no. Now let's talk, no, one second. Toxic, what's toxic masculinity? It's like being overpowering. Okay, no problem. Using your, your privilege as a man. No, no, one second. Why don't we have toxic femininity? We do Why only to, no, we we do don't. no, we don't. No, we don't. We do not. We do not have it. So I'm asking why the double standard? Toxic masculinity. Okay, let's suppose it exists. What is toxic masculinity? You know what toxic masculinity, you know what it's the, the, the line is now? Being a man. To be a man. To say, I want to be a traditional man. Toxic masculinity. Huh? A traditional man that imposes on the rights of women. That is toxic. What do you mean by imposes? Congo. So if he, if, he wants, if he wants intimacy from his wife. If you, yeah, no, no, hold on a second. One second. Does a man have a right to tell his wife that he doesn't want her to uh, not wear lipstick? Or he doesn't want her to wear no hijab? Or doesn't want her to wear tight clothes? Is that toxic femininity and uh, masculinity? It's, it becomes toxic if he imposes it. No, no, one second, one second, one second. No, don't do it. I one second, one second. He is allowed to say that to her. He's allowed to say it, but he's and, not and she, it. Yes, she, yes, he can. And guess what? If a woman, if a man is going out topless, his wife can tell him it's haram for you to show your aura, cover your aura. It is imposed. She has to impose it on him. But that's okay. Does he listen though? But that's, no, he has to. Because she's now telling us from the Sharia. Yeah, and the woman will listen to the man as well. But you said but that's toxic masculinity. When it's forced, when it's forced. Okay, what do you mean by forced? Like when he says, oh, you're doing that so you can't go out. Or yeah, 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 okay, okay, one second. If, if, if a man says, now when you say forced, is he grabbing her by the neck? Is he putting a gun to her head? Is there a knife? What's going on? But any, any, any. Oh, forced, what? If, if he says, if he says. Forced for manipulation. We're okay, no problem. If he says, if he says to his, uh, his wife, you're wearing red lipstick, it's, I don't like it, I don't want you to wear it, if you do, I will divorce you. Manipulation. That is no problem, no problem, no problem. Does he have a right to? He does have a right to. Okay, good. Can a woman... He but he has a right to. No, 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 okay. Can a woman now come and say, um, you are sometimes speaking to sisters mm -hmm. and you're, I don't like it. And if you do, I will seek divorce. Is that, does, can she do that? She can do that. Okay, she why is... She shouldn't. Why she shouldn't? Why is she speaking to another girl? What's he talking about? Sisters. He's talking to other sisters. I don't sisters, care if sisters. Right? He calls them sisters. Maybe he's trying to move to them. Okay, then. In you that, know what he's brother start with? I'm trying to give a dawah. If we're using that assumption, then yes, Come he on. should. He you should. Know, brother, keep a dawah to yourself. Yeah, if we're using that assumption, then yes, she should. She should threaten. Because
because we're going No, on but that's violating her rights. Because why is he... I mean, if it's a second wife, I mean, it's still a bit peak, but at least there's, things, there's ways to go about it. But if he's continuously talking to, like, different girls, come on, you're violating her rights. Why are you speaking to other girls? Why are you speaking to other girls? So the thing is here, she has a right to force him in, in, in a specific instance and say, if you carry this on, I will seek divorce. And she will have a right to divorce. You have a right, but it doesn't mean you should do it. What do you mean? Okay, all right, no problem. Um, speak to girls, um, do what you like. You go out in miniskirts, uh, bikini, in no Islam, problem. In Islam, you have the right to drink alcohol. If you want, you have the right, go, go on. But you are being haram, you're being haram. No, no, but as, uh, look, we are, we are the leaders and we will be responsible. As a, as a, as a human yeah. who believes in Islam. People talking about Islam. Talking okay, about Islam. then you don't have that right then. What do you mean I don't but have that right? Of course I have that right. There are nuances. No, no, there isn't. I have a right to tell my wife that I don't want to wear lipstick. Okay, yeah. Period. Yeah, you can do that. No, no, I can't do that. I will do that. That's what I'm saying though, that's the point. Do I become toxic masculine now? Am I, am I a misogynist now? Am I, no, of course I'm not going to go, hey, don't worry, a man's going to shank you up. I'm going to say, look, you know, in a romantic way, you know, maybe give a little flower there, little, you know, I'm going to make lasagna today, no, I'm joking. You, you be reasonable, come on, I'm not saying go like, you know what, look, I don't like you wearing that, okay, appreciate it because I love you, you're my wife, I don't want next man looking at you. Because you're going to reason, I'm going to go and be like, no, you're not wearing it. Come on, let's do, there's a way of delivering it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And it's the same with That's the what I'm saying. There's a way of delivering it. No, no, that, I know, but he has a right to say that. And a woman has just a, said that. Okay, that okay, okay, right okay, 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 okay. So and the woman has a right to say, I don't appreciate that you are messaging these girls. Yes. Yes. That, that's, that's it. No that's problem. So we're on the same page. Yeah. Good. What are we arguing over? I, you, you tell me. Are we on the same page? You tell me. Alhamdulillah. That's all I'm you saying. Do, in your mind, you thought you or you think that I don't accept some parts of Islam or Hadith. Well, it was when we first started when you said about I the angels accept, cursing. I accepted it. Yeah. But it doesn't mean I have to completely take it in. It doesn't mean... You have to completely take it. Full. Allah says in the Quran when Allah... No. Allah says in the Quran Allah says in the Quran when Allah and His Messenger decide something it is not for the believer to... Oh, no, 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 no. Did he say it? Like, like Abu Bakr Why is he known as a Siddiq? Because the Quraysh came to, him, came to him and said you know your, your, your companion, the Prophet he said he flew to Jerusalem. Bro, look at this, why light is so deep. He goes to, you know what he said to them, Aki? He goes, did he say that? He goes, yeah, I believe it. That's how we should be. Anyway, sister, may Allah bless you. You're still young, you're 17, yeah? What I'm saying is, the rights Islam has given you, keep to that, because that's the best thing you have. No feminism, red pill, none of this stuff is going to give you, to the men and to the women, there's nothing they're going to offer that Allah and His Messenger hasn't. The moment we stick to that, which we have, alhamdulillah, may Allah bless you, we would prosper. The moment we start doubting and be like, that doesn't make sense to me, is where we're going to go into avenues where it can even leave us to kufr. May Allah bless you again. Forgive me if I became a bit passionate. I get a bit excited sometimes. Forgive me. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it. That's all I want to say, inshallah. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Yeah? I need to pray asana. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The most powerful statement made in this video so far is men are no longer men, women are no longer women. Many roles have been reversed, you know, and there's something, that, I'll continue with that, but there's something that he said about a man being traditional. There's some men that are traditional and some that are modern, fine, you know, but there's some men that want to be traditional when it comes to certain things and not traditional when it comes to others and i see this in many many relationships you know you see friends where a man wants them to be home to do um all the house chores act as a wife should but they on the other end only provide once every blue moon you know there's it's it's a crazy world and there's some men that don't provide at all want to be traditional but again will oppress the woman when she wants to work which doesn't make sense if you're going to be traditional from the word go then keep up the same energy when it comes to women um i don't think i, I don't know you know when it comes to women, I don't think women should also be comfortable with just a man that wants to stay home, relax. 
eat, get fat, or whatever it is that you do. Imagine as a woman, you have to go to work, you're the one bringing in the money. You come back home, you're the one that has to cook, to clean the house. Or that man was just maybe playing games. These are the times that we're living in now. We know friends that are going through such things. We know people close to us that are experiencing these things. You know? And it's very, very sad that at 17 she has such a mindset. She's very, very young, so she still has time to to be taught otherwise. No wonder she was saying whatever she was saying. Otherwise, be it uh, Islam or other cultures in this world, when it comes to men and sex, I think there is a clear line as to what you're supposed to do, you know. It's, I don't know, it's very, very interesting. We should have more conversations like this to teach people in relationships, in marriage, one one or two things. And I don't know if there's a part two, but this is something worth listening to. Don't, don't, don't act like in, you're in a relationship, but don't want to do relationship things. You know, it's either you're all in or you're out. You can't choose in between. That's why you got married. That's why you chose this person as your partner. You really can't choose to be okay today i'll act like a partner tomorrow i'll behave like a devil tomorrow i'll behave like this no you can't that's your partner now above everything that's your partner respect them respect their needs their wants you know let me know what you guys actually think if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video